Hello, and welcome back to Miss Bell's classroom. Today in class, we're going to be learning about comets and meteors and astronauts. talking about um, how they are the same and how they are different today. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about today is comet. Comets. And comets are just composed of dust and rock mixed with frozen water, methane, and ammonia. Comets are considered to be like a large, dirty snowball. So here is a photograph of a comet. So it's made of dust and rocks mixed with frozen water, methane, and ammonia. And like I said, they're kind of like a large, dirty snowball. And so comets travel around the sun in elliptical orbits. So elliptical would be kind of like this elongated circle. So they're going to travel around the sun. This is the sun. They're going to go in an elliptical orbit. Like that. So when a comet nears the sun, some of it melts and forms a long tail, kind of like this. So it's melting and forming a long tail, which is just gases, um, and the comet are vaporized by the sun, so it looks kind of like a tail. When a comet moves farther away from the sun, the tail will disappear. So after a comet has passed, close to the sun many times, it breaks apart. The small pieces from the comet spread out. So after it's passed, you know, a lot of times, a lot of the comet ha would have melted away. And so eventually it's going to break apart and the pieces are going to spread out. So these pieces of dust and rock, along with those coming from other sources, are called meteorites. We're going to talk about meteoroids, meteor, meteors, and meteorites, and what the difference is. So, meteoroids are just the pieces of dust. And rock along with those coming from other. a meteorite. Um, so what's the difference between a meteorite and a meteor is kind of what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so we know that meteoroids can come from dust and rock and comets that are broken apart from the sun. So we're going to kind of take a look at, you know, what 
a meteoroid might look like on a little diagram that I'm gonna draw here. So if this, we could see that okay. If this is Earth's surface, so this is Earth's surface. say that this is Earth's atmosphere. Okay, just like that right here. And then up here, we've got something up here too. Okay, so this would be our meteor ride. And then right here, this would be our meteor. And then this is our meteorite. Okay? So a meteoroid is a space rock. Okay? It's something that is still in space. So we're gonna call this the space rock. That's a meteorite. You can see it's up in space. A meteor is a meteoroid that burns up in the Earth's atmosphere, so sometimes you might call it like a shooting star, but all it is is a meteoroid that has burned up in Earth's atmosphere. And then a meteorite is a meteoroid that hits the Earth's surface. As you can see here, it's touching it. So we've got meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. So let's go over that again. So a meteor ride, and who can remind me what is a meteoroid? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a space. It's a space. So it's still in space. And then we have. Meteor. And what is a meteor? Mm -hmm. So it's a meteoroid. Meteoroid that burns up in. is what? Good. It's a meter, our meteoroid that has hit Earth's surface. The meteoroid that has hit Earth's Meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. Okay, good. Right, so, um, a meteor is considered harmless, even though it can be viewed from the Earth at times, so they're not harmless. So, what think about right now is just think about what's the difference between a comet, a meteoroid, and a meteor, okay? So just think about it and I'm going to think here. Okay. So we're going to go over that a little bit and then we're going to talk a 
little bit about asteroids. Okay, so who can share what a comet is? Yeah, so remember, a comet is composed of dust and rock mixed with frozen water, methane and ammonia. And who can tell me what a meteorite is? Yes, it is a space rock that is still in space. And what about a meteor? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so it's the thing that burns up in Earth's atmosphere, kind of like a shooting star. So before we um, really go into asteroids, we're going to talk a little bit. We're just going to kind of compare some of these things. So we're going to call this a comet. Okay, and a comet is just a chunk of ice and a rock originating from the outer solar system. So most of the time there's a coma and a tail. So we'll call this part the coma. And then it's got a little tail here, which is just the gas is burning up. Um, so then the next thing we're going to look at, we're going to pretend like this, is an asteroid. Does anyone know what an asteroid is? Asteroid is just a rock in orbit, generally between Mars and Jupiter. There's asteroids. Um, sometimes asteroids get bounced towards Earth, but not often. So, comet, asteroid. So it's just kind of a piece of rock that's floating, orbiting. Okay, the next we're gonna call this a meteorite. So a meteorite. And a meteorite, oops, a meteorite is a space rock that's bigger than a dust grain, but smaller than an asteroid. Um, so, it's, if it strikes Earth, remember that's called a meteorite. Right. And then, I'm gonna go over this again. This is a meteor. And remember, a meteor is just a meteorite that has went into Earth's atmosphere and is now burning up. And then the last one, we're going to pretend like this is hitting Earth. This is a meteorite. And a meteorite is just a meteorite that has hit Earth. So that's just a little kind of comparison of all of them. We're going to talk about asteroids. So asteroids are just like rocks, um, but they're orbiting. So it's a piece of rock similar to material formed into planets. Um, it's smaller than a planet, but larger than a meteorite. Uh, most asteroids are located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, called the asteroid belt. So we actually have a photograph of that. So most of the asteroids are located in between Jupiter and Mars um, in the asteroid belt. So you can see kind of a little visual of that. But they're just pieces of rock that um, are orbiting from, and it could be similar to the material found in planets some of the rocky planets. Um, so why do you think that they might be located in between Mars and Jupiter? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, so the gravity of Jupiter might keep it from forming an actual planet there. So the gravity from Jupiter is kind of pulling it in. Asteroids in the asteroid belt. So we do have a little quiz today, so I hope that you were paying attention. So a 
I'm going to give you a characteristic and I want you to tell me, is it a comet, meteor, or asteroid? So here are your options. Comet. Meteor. Or asteroid. Okay. So the first characteristic is, it is a structure considered to be like a large dirty snowball. Is that comet, meteor, or asteroid? Yes. Good. That is comet. Very good. So it's like a large dirty snowball because it has rock and ice and gases. Okay, the next one. It is made up of dust and rock that burn up into the Earth's atmosphere. Is that comet, meteor, or asteroid? And that is a meteor. Very good. Okay, the next one. It is a rock made up of similar material that formed the planets. Uh -huh. Good. That is an asteroid. It's made up of that rocky material. Very good. It is made of dust and rock mixed with frozen water, methane, and ammonia. Comet, meteor, asteroid. Okay, yes, that is a comet. Very good. Okay, next one. Smaller pieces of rock broken from this object become meteor. Not a meteor, you're close. Comet, very good. Right, it is considered harmless even though they can be observed from Earth. Comet, meteor, asteroid. It's not a comet. Meteor, good. Right, one more. Most of these are located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Good. That is asteroid. Um, do you know what that area is called? The asteroid belt. Very good. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed learning about comets, meteors, and asteroids, and I hope that you have a restful sleep. Goodbye.